God is the principal opposition in our society. It's the lawless, ruthless power. So the bully, to the autocrat, to the despot, to the criminal, to the person who treats his neighbors like dirt. Fundamentally, once we have dispensed with that concept in our society, we are left with nothing. Now, the atheists don't wish to discuss this because they know exactly what I'm saying. They're very well aware of the implications of what I'm saying for society in general. They know perfectly well that if everybody didn't believe in God, the comfortable lives they live in extremely agreeable suburbs where they can trust people not to cheat them and rob them and mug them and rape them would come to an end. They want to keep the secrets to themselves. They want to have all the joys, not just now, all the joys and all the advantages provided by Christianity, but not pay the dues. No, not just now, because I'm just finishing. I normally do, but this evening I've decided not to. I've decided just to give them a Christian kicking. And, <laughs> and that is why, when you challenge the atheist side on this very point, they run from it refusing to discuss it. That is why nobody ever answers Thomas Nagel's question, why is it that they so much want there not to be a god? Well, I'll tell you exactly why. It's for precisely the same reasons as I very much want there to be one. Vote for the motion, please. <laughs>